Hi everyone, welcome to the new tutorial and today we're going to talk about positioning the heads in a custom way in the grid window. So it will be useful for some of you that already started using Magic U or for someone that was actually exploring the ways how to do it and I will show you how I managed to get this layout. What I'm talking about is simple. You see the heads I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then they go down 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then they go down 11, 12, etc. So it's like in a sort of a snake way. So this is a quick example of if I have an effect running, it goes, this is the effect that goes from left to right. But in output, you actually see it goes in a, like in a snake way. So right now I'm using 1930, but up until this version at least, I mean, if you look at this in the future, they may, we may or have already implemented the insert way in a snake. However, in the grid view right now, it's not possible. So how to go around it, especially if you have a lot of LED elements and you have them in a snake way, all linked up together, and now somehow you need to run an effect on them or you start uh, running the lights on the custom laid out uh, fixture. So in that case, your best tool will be an Excel spreadsheet. Yes, uh, you heard me right. So I'll show you how to do it because right now, if I wanna create a new grid, let's say if I create grid of five by 10, so say no. So if I wanna insert one by one, I would have to select one, and uh, 2, and uh, 3, and uh, 4, and uh, 5, and uh, 6, uh, sorry, 6, and uh, etc. So it will take you quite some time to make. And that's we're talking about only 5 by 10. And what if you have, let's say, 25 by 80, or you have, I don't know, 30 by 100. So you can see the complexity it creates, and you may think it's, it's, it's basically no way to do it faster. So actually there is way, and I already mentioned, it's Excel spreadsheet. And let me show you how to make it work. It's quite simple. So if you open Excel spreadsheet, this is the, the one I already created just before the tutorial, and I will show you how to create it yourself. And I'm gonna use just a basic example where you have five by 10, like in my case. Excel does not have the right formula to actually do the right calculations. So I will show you how to trick it to calculate it for you correctly. So you will see that some of my formulas actually referring to some other numbers and I will show it to you what I mean. So for example, I will select, I, I'll do the same thing, but again, I'll say one, two, three, four, five. So five cells are made. Then I'm gonna create here uh, a cell and I'm gonna say equal sign. Then I'm gonna say, click on that and I'll press plus one enter. So what it means is that element basically will be based on this uh, number above it plus one. So that means the light's going to be going in consecutive order or do whatever offset you need to do. So this next cell will be equal to that plus one. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to increase the the cell number count by one based on the previous cell. So then here I will do that one plus one. Here I'll do equals that one plus one. And here's going to be that one plus one. So what you need to do is you need to make only two extra rows to make the formula work. So that means I made one row and you need to make a next row where it's going to be this plus one, and then goes this plus one, this plus one. I'm sure some of you are going to be an Excel nerd that will be able to do it even faster than I am, but for me, this absolutely works fine. So now we've done this, so you have in total three rows. Now you select these two rows, don't count, don't select the first one, and you see you have this dot here and you stretch it, voila. It has created for you a layout equals to what I did here. So now you can actually select that, sorry, select that, 
press Command C or Control C. You take it in the clipboard. Go back here. In this grid, you have to make sure that the grid size is going to be is going to be equal or uh, bigger than the grid you have selected in the uh, the the cell grid you selected in Excel. So here. I will select it like that. So you need to make sure you select everything within the grid area and you press Control V or, uh, or Command V on a Mac. So now it has entered all the cells in the consecutive order exactly as I've planned. So now if you want to then convert this, this look into the visualizer, all you have to do is while you're still in this grid, you press grid action, you press arrange this, and you set your values to be, let's say, uh, at the back of the wall. And you say the, the distance between each head will be, for example, 0 0.2, uh, so let's, let's say 0 0.2 meters by 0 0.2 meters. So it's 20 centimeters and press enter. That way, in the visualize, you'll have them nicely packed here. Select the same group of lights. Go now to the patch, view this, and use the encoder Y to move it down to where you want. I mean, this is just for this particular, uh, this particular look. And now you can now select the lights, press add effects, intensity, and run dimmer chase. And you will see the lights are fully following your head order and the cool thing is here is this is working obviously for the head numbers so that means these numbers that you see here in the output window are your in the view heads are your head numbers this column okay so what it means is let's say you're actually running the head generics starting from the head number 101 so you select the whole column you type 101 and press enter so now all your heads been shifted by 100 so that means now this number is 101 102 103 so that means if i run an effect um, if you even if you change the number it works out fine however if you want to, I mean, if you look here, you see it automatically being updated to the correct number because it is in the, in the grid. However, let's say you're doing it for the first time and you are actually want to drop the correct head numbers and your numbers here are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. All you have to do is update the first row. So that means I'm going to say 101, 102, now select this, stretch it all the way here, and voila, it actually converts everything to the new numbers, and it works the same way whether you make it thousands or, or whatever. So this way you can actually create the nice like um, order of your elements in the or fixtures in your grid. And from that point, you can then create your pixel mapping, etc., etc. But again, it doesn't always need to be limited to uh, to just being in a consecutive order because you can always make a selection. Let's say head number one, two, three, four, and five, and then as long as you selected them like that, you copy them, and then you go into the ex into the grid view and you have the grid size to be equal or bigger than this selection, then in that case, it will be, you will be able to actually import it or paste it into the, into the grid view and then use it in your programming within MagicQ. I hope that was useful. Again, that's not the basic, basic uh, tutorial, but I hope that was useful for you when you get to the level where you actually need to use this function. So, again, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And also, please like and comment if you have anything nice to say. If you don't have anything nice, you can say it as well. I'm just, I hope my tutorials are useful for all of you. Thank you. Bye-bye.